Hello everybody, welcome back to another video from HSTV and in today's video, as you can see by the video title, I'm going to be sharing my top note-taking apps for medical students. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am, my name is Hayden Shamaz, I'm a fourth year medical student here at the University of Edinburgh and over my past few years of studying medicine, I have been experimenting with different note-taking apps. Now, unfortunately, there is not one single app out there that has it all, especially on Android. I think we are quite limited. However, I do have a few options for you guys that you can try so that your note taking is more efficient and more effective and you're more productive. First up, Samsung Notes. All right, let's jump into Samsung Notes. We are hit with a great interface. This is a free app available and pre-installed on all your Samsung devices. Now, it used to be available on Windows as well, but unfortunately that's no longer the case. And it's obviously not available on Apple devices either. However, the syncability across your Samsung devices is really good. So that's something to be aware of. Now, the organization on Samsung Notes is super easy. It's really nice to create folders and you've got a good amount of flexibility going on there as well. Creating a new note is also really easy. You've got a nice range of tools and a good uh, color palette to choose from. And then actually you can create a favorites pen bar as well, which is one of my most favorite features of having Samsung Notes. Overall, I find the usability is uh, really smooth. It's quite sleek, especially if you're using this on a Samsung tablet. I think that's the most ideal platform for you. It's nice with the S Pen. The highlighter tool is nice. Uh, you've got the eraser as well. You can also erase by pressing on your S Pen button so it's really convenient and good at compatibility there. The lasso tool is also great. I use this all the time to move things about. You also have the shape tool, which also works pretty well. Um, in terms of other customizability, you can change the page templates. There's a good range available, but actually if you wanted to have more, you can download and import them in which is quite nice because you can import PDFs as well, as well as other images, voice recordings and audio files. So it's a nice addition to your notes. Now we also have a range of background colors that you can choose from. I personally like that dark black background. I use this in a lot of my notes. But overall, Samsung Notes is a great tool for medical school. I've used it a lot, especially in my preclinical years. I made all of these uh, summaries all on Samsung Notes and I found it uh, really, really nice to organize and actually go over afterwards as well. So all in all, I, I give uh, Samsung Notes a good uh, kind of five out of five rating because I did use it for a long time and uh, it's now just become time consuming to take handwritten notes and that's the only reason I've moved away from it but still my to-do lists are on here and it's great to have it all synced up uh, on all my devices. Let's check out our next app Notion. All right, let's hop into Notion, which is also a free app, but this time, this is not just a note-taking app. This is like a study HQ, and it's available on your Samsung devices, your Apple devices, Windows. This is a good cross-platform app, and the syncability is also really nice. Now, on Notion, I like to go with the uh, black background, the more dark background, so I'm gonna quickly change that in front of you guys right here put that into dark mode, that's more like it. Now, obviously this is my medicine page, but I do have a research page and an Islamic study page as well. But yeah, we're focusing on medicine today. So Notion is really nice. You've got good customizability. This is more for your typed notes. There's not really a handwritten note aspect here, but Notion does provide for a lot of customizability in other ways. So for example, I have um, you know the study side, I've got the to-do list, uh, and I can have a revision as well. Now, there's lots of things that you can do with Notion. I am no expert. You can create revision boards and you can customize this to a whole other level using AI features as well. However, I'm not the expert on that. So let me just show you some of my nice pieces of work uh, on cardiovascular medicine. So for example, this ECG interpretation page, this has got a nice mixture of, uh, you know, the uh, pictures and then um, I always use these toggle tools, so it kind of helps me revise at the same time as well. Now, what's also quite nice is that you can add videos and links to external sites. So for example, here with the cardiovascular examination, I can add these videos in which will help me when I am revising. So it's uh, quite a nice uh, database of um, 
you know, notes to create. And this really helped me out during uh, clinical medicine uh, studying. So I think overall Notion does have a lot to offer. It is a completely different vibe to Samsung Notes, uh, but nevertheless, it stands strong. Next up, we've got Flexo. Let's get into Flexel then. Now Flexel is a one-time purchase of £7.99 and it works on all your Android devices. So yeah, not free, but it is one of the best PDF editors out there. Better than all the apps I think today that I'm going to be showing. Now here you can see Davidson's, you know, this is like the main book of medicine, right? And uh, I think that if you want to edit it up and you want to mark it up, this is the best app to do it on. Now you do have this uh, pen mode where you can obviously, you know, highlight things and there's a good range of tools available, I would say. Uh, you can also add things like stickers and uh, all that, but these are all premium features so you would have to upgrade for that. Now, there's also a gesture mode where you can actually add in text boxes um, onto uh, sort of various places that you'd like to. So like here or you know wherever you want. And once you've marked up whatever you want to mark up, this is the really nice thing because it records all your annotations. So when you've got all your things, it will take you to those pages where you've got those uh, underlines and the highlights and um, all that. You can also link together other PDFs as well and have multiple PDFs open all at the same time. Now you've got this uh, bookmarks page, the contents page is also really useful and something that I've not seen on other apps. Uh, it's really easy to skip to the right chapters that you want to revise and uh, it does give you a much more seamless experience of uh, studying different PDFs and I think actually the loading speeds and everything is really good as well. So overall I would say that for Davidson's and other PDFs, especially large textbooks, Flexil is a really nice app. Of course, you can create your own notes as well um, through, um, you know, and you've got lots of customizability going on there. Um, and I think the designs on here are really nice. If you did want to make your own jotters for things, um, you do have a good range of templates as well. And uh, remember that there are more, but there are premium features. So just be aware of that. But overall, I think I'm, um, Flexel does offer a really nice range of customizability as well as being a really nice PDF marker. Okay, fourth app we are looking at is Noteshelf. Let's jump into our fourth app, which is Noteshelf. Now, Noteshelf also has a nice interface, kind of similar to Samsung Notes, I think, and this costs you six pounds on all your Android devices. Uh, there is um, sort of a syncability feature as well, uh, but to be honest, um, I'm not like fully aware with it at the moment because it's a beta version. I've not had a chance to use it properly. This is not my primary note-taking app, but it's a good option for you guys. So just keep that in mind that the option is available. But let's get to the exciting stuff, which is what happens when we want to create a new notebook. We have got really nice customizability here, quite similar to the style of Flexel and uh, lots of different templates as well that you can choose from. And if they are not enough for you, then there are some that you can download in. So, you know, your digital diaries, your study planners, um, stuff that's quite specific to, um, you know, your note taking as well. So this is really nice. This is all kind of included within that six pound purchase. So I think that's quite nice. So let's uh, jump into a quick note so I can show you some of the tools that are available. Now, one thing to note here is that the tools I think on Noteshelf, they are a little bit limited. Um, however, you know, you can have a favorites bar and uh, you can actually display that favorites bar as well. You can add more pens to it uh, just like so by clicking the little heart button. You've also got the highlighter as well. Now, one thing that I do wish we had on Noteshelf is a bit more compatibility with Samsung tablets, especially the S Pen. So for example, uh, you know, obviously I can hold the S Pen button and erase, but when I tap on the S Pen button, I can't switch between my favorites. So something a little bit more would have been nice. Now, we have the shape tool, just like in Samsung Notes. You can also have a uh, kind of written to text feature. So, you know, if we went for something like, oh, this is not working. Uh, that's strange. Maybe, oh, I, th I believe you have to actually write it there. And then if you click the T maybe. Okay, I'm not too sure what that T is doing. 
I think it might be more for typed notes if I've got the keyboard attached, but that's a little bit fiddly, so maybe that's a downside to note shelf. Anyways, uh, moving on, you have a AI feature as well. So if we asked it to summarize uh, as something on study, uh, okay, I don't know why it's auto correcting like that, but that's a bit weird. Um, note taking um, techniques. Okay, so it's uh, doing something for us. And then we actually have the option to add this as text or as handwriting. Let's see what happens if we do it as handwriting. There we go, that's now written it there for us. So uh, a few nice features here in Note Shelf and uh, there's lots to explore. And lastly, although it's not strictly note taking, is Anki. Okay, let's jump into our last app, which is Anki. Now, Anki is free on Android, but it is paid on iOS. However, you can sync across different platforms, so that is nice. Now, I'll be honest, I've been a bit up and down with Anki because um, I used to use it a lot, and uh, then I stopped using it, and I'm back to using it now. It's grown back on me, and the main reason is because it's time consuming to make study flashcards, but actually I know quite a few friends actually who just use Anki as the main note taking app because uh, when we have lectures and lecture slides uh, I guess this is an active way of making notes but also having material that you can revise from afterwards. So in a way Anki does two in one and uh, you know there are other flashcard apps out there such as Quizlet however I think Anki is your king when it comes to spaced repetition, spaced revision and it's actually quite good for testing these key knowledge facts. So it is something that I would re recommend to medical students but don't leave making Anki flashcards to the last two weeks before your exam but do this as you go along um, or even when you're studying things for the first time because once you've made it it's there and then it's easier to revise and go back to. But overall I think Anki uh, is, a, is a helpful app, it's a good app, obviously it's time consuming but so is making other notes as well. So this is just another method and another great app and you know obviously with the syncing and this being cross-platform it's nice. Now I just use the basic cards but you can download kind of like occlusion packs and other things to make your flashcards a bit more fancy and with pictures and things um, but yeah. Alright everyone, well that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you find this useful and you can take away some of these apps to actually download on your own devices. Most of them are free anyway, which is brilliant. Now I really want to hear your thoughts on this, so tell me what you think is the best note taking app on Android at the moment, or any other suggestions of something you'd like me to review as well. I'm always open for that. So yeah, I will uh, see you all in my next video. Goodbye.